Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Everybody guys, another episode of our Pokemon Daybreak Nuzlocke Let's Play Bonus Episode Edition. It's not because you guys have been liking the video, it's because I love you guys. So like the video either way and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. You guys are great. I appreciate the love on Daybreak. I kind of ditched the like goals because we weren't hitting them anyway, but it's all good, man. I'm enjoying the series. I'm having fun playing it, and I hope you guys are having a good time. Otherwise, if you guys don't know, we launched a bunch of brand new Team Shiny shirts. You can check them out on the screen. KG's going to put them up there. Head to TeamShiny.com and swag out your wardrobe today because seriously, you're going to look amazing, and I know you want to look amazing, and, and you're just going to look awesome, including our brand new Hisuian Growlithe design, which is phenomenal. I know it's phenomenal because it's right there and it looks awesome. So check it out. Otherwise, we gotta go through this big cave. Um, that's kind of where we're at. I battled some trainers in the last episode. Didn't quite get that far, uh, but we're gonna travel through this cave. There's an Excadrill. And we're gonna see what uh, kind of challenges lie in front of us. I think there's like a two-pronged way to go here. Looks like I can surf down here. So we're gonna explore, find what we see, and uh, keep it rocking. Ooh, there's an item. Let's see what it is, and then we'll keep going. It is Stone Edge, which actually isn't bad. So, all right, well, we'll see what happens. Let's do it. It looks like a healer there, and Psyche types are tough to train, but tough to face. I've even got my hands on a special new Pokemon for being so resilient. He definitely has a Duleon, or she definitely has a Duleon. A Gardevoir. Okay, so I feel like I can just, Gardevoir is so hard for me, but I do have 07. I think I can just U-turn here, and just U-turn out. I did just give him the TM for U-turn, and let's just go to 07 to take the Psychic type move. Yeah, there's Psychic. We take that pretty well, and we can actually just mirror code him. It's gonna psychic again. Can't switch out. We get a big mirror code off, and that's a goodbye Gardevoir right there. Here's Dynamion, and this is Psychic and Fire. I think I'm gonna mirror coat Lava Plume. And I can mirror code it and blow it back. 07, baby. I love the support for 07 in the last episode, by the way. And here's a Hatterene. Tell me how this is like actually really tough. I think my best bet is actually just heal. Heal up 07 and then just bop it. Dazzling Gleam, we should be able to take two. Yeah, and then we just mirror coat. Dazzling Gleam again and the big mirror coat. 07! You love it. You love to see it. Very powerful. I've, I actually haven't had the fortune of being able to utilize a Wobbuffet on a playthrough. 10 bucks to heal. Let's get it. So I'm excited. I'm going to take advantage of it. Let's get it. I've tamed a mighty beast. Now face it. Oh boy. We're at the part of the game where we're just gonna face some crazy stuff like this Rampardos. All right, I have Juggernaut though. So like, I have a really good answer to Rampardos. Like we should be okay. I could just Earthquake. This might hurt, no flinch. Nice. We're good. We're good. All right, I'm gonna take advantage of that healer because 10 bucks to heal is way cheaper than anything else I can do. Hydro Bump is cool, but I then I, I won't have Surf. So I'm gonna heal and then we'll battle the next trainers. Ampharosite, Mega Ampharos, Mega Stone right there. I feel like I just skipped a bunch of stuff. I might end up backtracking, but let's see what this trainer's got. Some Psychic Trainers, so we gotta be mindful of that. A Haunter, actually. Um, I kinda just want a U-turn. He's probably gonna go for a Ghost-type move, so we could just go into Darwin here. And he does just Shadow Ball. We should take that really well. And we'll just Snarl. He's gonna Shadow Ball again. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Snarl should do a lot. Almost knocks him out. And I guess I'll just Snarl again. He's just gonna keep Shadow Balling. As long as there's no special defense drops, Darwin is A-OK -okay right now. And what else you got for me? A Dusclops. Um, I mean, he could try to burn me. I'll just Toxic him, because it's definitely the play. He might just curse. He's gonna confuse Ray. Okay. Um, what do I want to do against Dusclops? I kind of want to go tank. And just set up for crits, because this is a ghost type. Yeah, there's the Willow. So we knew that was coming, but as long as it doesn't curse me, I should be able to just focus energy here and then start doing some damage. He's gonna confuse Ray, but we're actually in a good spot still. I'll just surf. I hit myself. Hex could be bad. He's gonna curse. Okay. So he does go down here, and he didn't mean look me or anything, so I can easily switch out. Unless, unless they send out something that can trap me, which would be annoying. Soothia! Whoa! Okay, I have no idea what Sudian does. That looks like a water type. If I had to take a guess. Oh, you know what? I just went 07. He totally is. Oh, he's he's water psychic. Let's mirror coat. Acid armor. Okay. I'm gonna mirror coat. I'm gonna mirror coat again. He's gonna acid armor again. That's fine. I'll eventually hit it. Future sight. You can't mirror coat the future sight, can you? He's just gonna future sight again. Interesting. Um, and then I think my play is Darwin and then just going for snarls 
Because then I'm at least immune to the future sight. We'll snarl. Doesn't really do a ton. I do get a special attack drop. He's going to acid armor again. The future sight doesn't work. I guess I just snarl away here and I should be fine. Because we're dropping a special. Morning sun. Okay, so we're going to toxic install this thing out. It has magic bounce! But I have a bigger brain than he. Because <laughs> I have synchronized. <laughs> that was the biggest Spider-Man meme I've ever seen. He's, okay, I'm, I think he just nullified those snarl drops, but either way, uh, my dude magic bounced the toxic back, hit me with toxic, and then pr promptly activated synchronize, synchronize, which passed the toxic back to, back to him. But actually, I think it's regular point. No, it is toxic, it is toxic. Cause it did, that did a lot. I think it is toxic. He's gonna keep Morning Sun, but I think Toxic is, yeah, that's definitely Toxic damage. We're good, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Despite the fact that Soothion is a bit scary. And here's an Alakazam. I feel like this thing's gonna have Dazzling Gleam. I really do. Like, I wanna stay in, I gotta stay in and just Snarl. He's gonna call mine, so actually, Snarling was 100% the play here. Cause then I at least nullify that. He's gonna call mine again. I'm really nervous that he's gonna Focus Blast me or something, dude. I should live one though. He's gonna keep calm minding. I'm really nervous. That did nothing that time. I don't know why that did so little. Oh, because he keeps boosting, that's fine. Hey, if he doesn't attack, I can't lose. Nice, we take those. Jeez, all right, well I probably should heal. Okay, so this is not the way to go anyway. I have to go back. All right, I dodged this guy earlier, but now I gotta battle him. He's got a Steelix. Uh, I'm just gonna U-turn. I should have healed and I didn't, so now I gotta deal with that. Um, Actually, Storm should be good against Steelix because I resist. Yeah, Rock Slide misses, and I have Flamethrower, so we should actually be fine here. That's gonna just melt the Steelix. Love to see it. A camera up. Um, Obviously, Tank is the play here, but I can't really do that. So, I just go Juggernaut, because I don't think there's any world where he goes for a ground move here. Yeah. That hurts. No burn, and I should be faster, and Earthquake will just one-shot. It is a camel. Okay. What else you got for me, bro? This is a tough trainer. Bronzong? I have no idea if he's Levitate or not, so I think the play is just go Storm here. He's gonna Future Sight, that's that's okay. I'll just Flamethrower and see how much it does. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, I have to switch, I have to switch. I can't risk taking a Future Sight with negative two special defense. It's too risky. We're okay though. Uh, I have a few Snarls left, so that'll knock out the Bronzong. And what else you got? I think he had one more, a golem. I feel like this thing is just gonna explode. Um, I think, what do I wanna do here? I'm gonna protect and see what he does. Stone Edge, okay. Then I'm gonna go Juggernaut, and then we can just, like Stone Edge is gonna do nothing to me, and even if he Earthquakes or something, it's not gonna do that much, so we can just Earthquake ourselves. And we just one-shot him. I mean, Juggernaut's a monster, so see you later, bro. And we got TM-105 Dark Pulse chilling here, which is pretty dope. And we got this other trainer right here. Uh, they look like a fighting type trainer. Fia! I wonder what gave that away. Crush Girl Petra has got a Gallied. I'm just gonna U-turn out. And I have a really good answer to that in 07. Psycho Cut, that's fine. And we can just counter. Full Swipe, uh, I don't know if this knocks it out, yeah. Another Full Swipe, we'll definitely knock it out with counter now. 07, baby! And Toxie Croak. Gonna guess it's physical. He sucker punches me! 07! Let's get it, baby. And Air Slash for Batwoman, but I'm gonna keep Fly. And we're good to go. TM81 X Scissor. Not bad. And a Rocky Helmet! Oh! I've been waiting for one of those for the longest time! Okay! That's so good. Of course, now I get it after all this time. And it's not nearly as useful now as it would have been a long time ago. But I feel like it's pretty good on 07. Um, I guess it's like, who do I want to put the XP share on? I kind of like it on 07, but I also kind of want 07 to be a little over leveled. So we'll just keep an eye on the fact that we have this Rocky Helmet. Because I feel like that's super clutch. A successful trainer needs to have checks against their favorite type's weaknesses. Oh boy. Hiker Octavio, he's got a Gastrodon. Yeah, I can't do anything to Gastrodon, so we'll just U-turn. And 
I think the play against Gastrodon is actually just going into Darwin and poisoning it. Because he might try to do the same to me. He's going to Muddy Water. That shouldn't do much. I'll just Toxic. And then if he does it to me, it's fine. He's going to Rain Dance, actually. Okay. But I have the ability to Snarl. So I'll Protect, and then I'll just Snarl him, and we should be fine. Because even with him Muddy Water, it's not going to do a ton. And I can kind of nullify the Rain Dance now with that. He's going to Muddy Water, but again, it shouldn't do too much. Yeah. And then the Toxic will wear him down. We can just Protect. I don't think he's going to heal. And then we save ourselves a Snarl for later. Nice. This team has really come together. I mean, I know I've got quite a few levels on the opposing Pokemon now, but... It's really done super well. I don't see what Aerodactyl is doing to Juggernaut. Ancient power. Don't get a boost. Okay. And then honestly, I just click Stone Edge and don't miss. And we're good. That sounds good to me. Goodbye. See you later, Aerodactyl. Will you take the Drapion by the claws? I don't know. Will I? Tamer Aaron's got a main neck trick. Yeah, I'm switching out. Um, Do I want to go Storm? He's going to have a Drapion, right? So... For the Drapion, I probably want Juggernaut, so let's go Storm for this. And then we'll use Juggernaut for the, the Drapion. Presumably, right? That, that sounds like a solid bet. Flame there was a two-shot anyway, so we're in pretty good shape here. Nice. The only thing that would be an issue is if he has, like, Pursuit. But Juggernaut should be able to take anything from a Drapion anyway. Even a crit here. Yeah, I mean, that did zero. He's going to T-Spike, but we got this. Earthquake will just one-shot. Nice. Easy. We're doing it. We're cruising right now. We're doing really good. This is probably the best the team has, has functioned all se all series long, man. I'm trying to practice here. Watch out. I only battled this guy because there's a TM or something back there. He's got a Gengar. Um, I mean, when I have a Darwin, how do I stay in here? I guess I'll just U-turn and go to Darwin. Because he probably wants to click Shadow Ball. Got to be really careful because this is definitely a situation where we have to be super mindful of a potential Destiny Bond. So, I'm going to Snarl here. I almost knocked him out. This is, like I said, he's going to Curse Body me anyway, so I have to switch. Um, this is where, like I said, you got to be very mindful of potential Destiny Bond. I think the play is Batwoman, because it's faster, and I can take one Shadow Ball. Yeah, and then we just... I think we just honestly fly. Of course, I just went against everything I said, because he could have Destiny Bond. He's going to switch out Kabaraja here. That's fine. I'll U-turn. Go figure, right? Stupid A drive. Anyway, uh, Storm should be fine against Kaparaja because he's not going to do much to me. And we can just flamethrower. We have to be very mindful of that Gengar coming back, though. Strength. Yeah, we're fine. And honestly, I just Volt Switch. Put myself in a better situation. Get my Crobat back on the field. In case Gengar comes back out. And it is the Gengar. I think Cross Poison does enough here. It does. Okay. I mean, it's four times resisted, but... And a Sligu. Um... I mean... Is there any any reason why I should be worried here? I guess I'll just U-turn. And... I mean, Tank should be okay, right? Because Sligu... Most of the time, Sligu just has, like... Either Dragon moves, or... That did quite a bit. I guess he could have Thunderbolt. Let's just go 07 and just Mirror Coat, then. Because we should be able to take two Dragon Pulses. Yeah, we'll just Mirror Coat. Okay, we should be good. 07 can easily tank this. Nice. Okay. That was a little sketchier than I wanted it to be, but it wasn't too bad. And I got a star piece and silk scarf for normal types. Was that engagement worth it? I'm not convinced, but I guess we'll take it. I dropped my device in the water. It's IP68 rated, but I'm not running my lab coat. I have a fishing rod. You snagged it. Thanks so much. Uh, I think the batteries are fried. Thanks anyway. I guess I just get like... Brownie points for that? I don't know. I don't really want to battle that guy. I'm going to skip him. Um, now, how do I do this? I think you strength here. Wait, no. Yeah, I have to. Push this here. Break this. And then we've got a karate bro up in front. I'm actually a white belt. I, I don't know my belts at all, if I'm being honest, Eddie. A hit on top. Well, uh, I mean, 07 should just be able to ruin this dude's life. He's good agility. I don't think you can do anything if I counter. You gotta attack me eventually, hit him on top. How many times are you gonna agility, bro? Gyro Ball. That did. Z Is that really what we're doing right now? Really? This is something special. Okay. Um. I mean, he's really fast, but he went for Gyro Ball, which is, like, kind of dumb. 
because he's really fast. I'm not sure how to feel right now. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I don't know what this Hitmon top set is. Something special, I guess. Quick guard. What are we doing here? What are we doing? And a Mianfu. Ow. We're good. I actually live that? All right, Batwoman should be able to finish this thing off with a nice cross poison. I don't know what that battle was. Just whatever. Let's keep going. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh my God, there's so many trainers, but I see an exit. So I think we're almost done. Hopefully this is the end. Hiker Callum's got his Steelix out here to finish things off. And uh, I think we should be A-OK -okay with Storm. Cause realistically like, ah, uh, that's the thing he's gonna do. Okay. Um, If he crit me, I think I'd be in trouble. So I'm kind of leaning towards just honestly going Juggernaut. Cause like what is Steelix doing a Juggernaut? He's gonna double edge, yeah. Um. I think Earthquake, two Earthquakes should finish him off. Steelix is really bulky though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his Iron Tail, that shouldn't, yeah. Look how bulky Juggernaut is, that's crazy. I know he's got Solid Rock, right? So he's reducing the power of super effective hits, but that's actually crazy how bulky he is. And we have fresh air on Aerodon Trail. This actually looks really cool. I'm kind of low on potions, but uh, I think we'll be good enough. And I do get a new encounter here too. Um, oh, I do not, because there's no encounters. Maybe later. You finished the trek, but now I can take you out easily. Except I just used a lot of lemonade, Leon. A Metagross! Okay, um... Well, they caught up on levels pretty quickly. I mean, 07 should be A-OK -okay against a Metagross here, right? He's got Psychic. You would think he has Physical Attack, so I'm gonna counter. He Meteor Matches and misses. I'm gonna counter again, assuming he hits it, and he does. We take it very well, and we're just gonna one-shot the Metagross, so. 07 doing what he's gotta do. And a Rhyperior, which we have. Who's the better Rhyperior? I think mine is, so I'm gonna go to my Rhyperior. He's gonna Earthquake me. Okay, that did a solid chunk of damage. I think mine's better, though. Oh, mine's definitely better. Juggernaut! That was a really, really risky decision that I just made, but we take those. And quick guard for Batwoman, but he has inner focus, so not really worth. Big dubs over here. Oh my God, the trainers never end. Ready to get blazed. Excuse me? Tauros. I remember earlier in the game, we faced that Tauros that was like ridiculous for us. I think this one will probably have a better time against. I don't see how he beats Juggernaut. Zen headbutt. I get his earthquake. Yeah, if, if I don't hit myself a confusion, bro, you're getting blown back right now. Yep, goodbye, Tauros. That was something. And a Bufalon. My man's got all the Pokemon. I'll just Rock Smash as long as I don't hit myself. Somehow I'm faster. He lived? Megahorn. Don't hit yourself. Juggernaut doesn't care about no confusion. He just runs straight. Goodbye. Oh, I have to hop on these rocks? I'm confused. TM53 Energy Ball, which actually is kind of cool because honestly, I, I think that that's a worthwhile TM for one particular Pokemon I'm thinking of. I was correct. Tank can actually learn that over Psybeam and now he's got a way to hit bulky water types as well, which I think is super good. Are you a trainer? You are. I gotta battle this guy. Fossil bro, Explorer Chris, he's got a Talon Flame. Um, I mean, I have the ultimate Talon Flame answer in Juggernaut, so I guess I'll do that. Like, what is this thing gonna do to Juggernaut? Nothing, I'm just gonna click Stone Edge. Yeah, goodbye Talon Flame. I mean, he just screamed at me. And an Embor, now that's a bit scarier. One would presume he is going to go for a fighting move, or he's just gonna flamethrower me and then completely ruin my plan. Um, okay, Embor's a little sketch, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I just don't know if he's physical or special. If he flare blitzes me, I'm in trouble. So I think I gotta tank and surf. Assurance, yeah. We could just surf though. He's faster, he take down. This could get sketchy, but I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, good, we, we one shot. I wasn't sure that was gonna work. And a craw crazy Greninja! I don't know what that is, bro. 
I'm gonna go Darwin because he looks like he's dark and fire and I'm gonna snarl. I think we're okay, but oh my God, that I missed. That Greninja is wild. I missed again. Is your ability that I you have like evasive boost? I get a special attack drop. I'm gonna Toxic. It seems like his best way to hit me is Faint Attack, so I think we're okay here. But dude, that is a cool Pokemon, man. I'm glad I battled this trainer just to see that. But I don't see how he stops me from just uh, kind of protecting and Toxic and the shenanigans that Darwin now does on this playthrough, which some people may not like, but I call it strategy, my friends. Strategy. He's got Morning Sun, because why wouldn't he? This is all the more reason why having Toxic is worthwhile here. All the more reason, because now, otherwise, this thing would, this would be forever to beat. I would never beat him. But eventually, Toxic will wear him down, and he will not be able to deal with the power that is the Toxic Poisoning of Darwin. Goodbye, Greninja. This is your, your farewell, but boy, oh boy, do you look awesome. I will tell you that. So goodbye. Very cool, man. Very cool form. I love that. Explorer, Chris. Thanks for the battle. And Charcoal, the booster fire type moves. Dope. It's a charm. Perhaps this belongs to somebody. Oh, I think we just found a key item and a max ether. So we'll have to figure out whose charm that is because I have no idea. It doesn't ring any bells. I think that's the end of the route. A thunderstone, which is dope. And stumps that I can't chop yet. Interesting route. No Pokemon though, but I think we have made it to the end. Aradon Town! And Dante's here! Funny running into you, actually. I was on my way. How about I just show you? Follow me. What is this? I found some old books here in the mythology section. I found some very interesting drawings of what appears to be a city off the coast of Zeftown. On the next page is a really hellish drawing of some wicked monster clearly titled Hoopa. It sounds familiar. The first theory is that the majority of people think it was just a meteor that crashed in the earth. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. The problems arise that Squad Zero is interested in the meteor. Why would they care about a silly space rock? Why would we not expect a crash? Wouldn't astronomers be able to predict the crash and evacuating nearby areas? My second theory is that a certain Pokemon such as Deoxys or Hoopa has caused the crash. It makes no sense for Deoxys to cause it because there was no evidence of Deoxys. That only leaves Hoopa. Ah, this is a flashback, by the way, for those who didn't quite get that. We know about Hoopa, right? So, upon further th thought, he, th he did, I... I think he mentioned Hoopa though. Doesn't it not exist? Perhaps it's in the mythology section for a reason. The book itself isn't in any language I know and the librarian doesn't even remember when she got the thing. So you know what? We'll have to investigate ourselves. If the book is right, there should be at least some remains of it in Zeph Ocean. I'll meet you there. Oh, now we're going back to Zeph Ocean. Okay. I was not expecting that. But I kind of want to explore the town. So I'm going to look around uh, Aerodon Town here. See what's good. See if there's anything fun that maybe I'm missing. 50 Shades of Mischievous. That's funny. Oh, this person dropped their lucky charm. I did find it. Oh, they don't give me anything. That's definitely like hidden karma stuff though. You know what I mean? Like we get good karma for just giving stuff to people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't go this way because these guys are always fighting on sandstone path. This, this game likes to put Pokemon battles as the way to block you off. It's kind of funny. Do I have a male Luxray? Would I trade it for an Arcanine? No, sorry buddy. Found the Pokemon Center at least. And get some potions. Oh, there's actually a gym in Aerodon. What's the gym? Welcome to Aries Fighting Gym. Use flying or psychic types, they're most effective. Okay, well, we've got a fighting type gym up next. So I might as well do it, right? I mean, it seems to make sense to me. I don't know what level it's gonna be, but let me go back to the Pokemon Center and let's take a look at our team and see if uh, if we feel that we can make any changes to it. All right, so I was, I'm gonna be real. I was thinking about taking some time and just training up a whole new team to fight this gym, but you know what? We're just gonna rock with what we have and see how it goes. And if things go really bad, then you know we'll train up some different Pokemon. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stick to what I have because the reality of it is these gyms oftentimes they have themes anyway, right? So they they might have a lot of fighting type Pokemon, but there's also gonna have other types too. So for me to just use all one type that's good against that, it probably isn't in my best bet. So. We're gonna try this out, we'll see how it goes. I, I actually feel like we have a really special Pokemon on our team. And because of that special Pokemon, I really like our chances and that's 07 here. So as long as 07's on the team, I really don't see how I get wrecked. Like completely wrecked at least. Well, I guess maybe I'll be wrong, but let's find out. I really believe in 07. I feel like this Pokemon is a beast. So um, I just need this throw to attack me and then he's not gonna attack me, is he? 
All right, well, in that case, we'll just go back to Batwoman. Uh, I'm gonna try to focus on Batwoman in this in this uh, gym as well, just get some levels on it. I could potentially try to grab Acrobatics, which might be a good play over Fly, uh, just because. But 07 gets a level. I've got the uh, the XP share on him, so we'll just train up against these trainers. I don't. I, I think I think we'll be okay. I gotta figure out how do I even jump over there. What do I even do? Oh, you hop on these rocks. Why did I not see the rocks there? I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, let's see what this guy's got. Black Belt Boris has a Blaziken. I'll just fly. I mean, bad woman. Oh, he's got Stone Edge. That could be really bad. And he's Speed Boost. Oh, the fact that he's Speed Boost is actually amazing. It didn't matter, but that's amazing for me. And we're gonna get some fat levels here. And here comes a Glalie. That's what I mean, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about, about like, instead of just running a team that has one type, because these gyms, they don't, they don't just have one thing. I'm gonna go Darwin. I feel like I should be okay. He might explode though. He's sub. Um, he's sub lefties. He's sub lefties moody. Okay. I'm a little less excited right now. Um, I mean, I guess I can snarl. He's gonna protect. He's sub lefties moody. This might actually be really bad. He's gonna get an attack. Drops his defense. He's gonna frost breath me, which always crits. That's okay. Um, oh, snarl's a sound move, so it does go through his sub. Which actually is kind of tricky because I need to break the sub. Let's go tank then. So we have, we've seen four of his moves. So I think tank is fine here. Let's go for focus energy. He's gonna taunt. Okay, so I've seen his full move set, and the good news is, as crazy as this battle might get, he only has one way to hit me. So I think I can I can get through this. Okay, I got the focus energy off. He wasn't able to taunt me this time, and now I'm gonna always crit him. So I think we're actually okay because he'll be able to substitute. But as long as he doesn't get like crazy evasive boosts. I don't see how we're in a, in a bad spot here because any of the boosts he gets from his, like he just got special defense there. Like I'm gonna crit through any of his special defense boosts. So I think we're okay. Only because of tank though. Like I would have actually been in trouble if it wasn't for that. He's gonna keep subbing, but I, again, I think we should be fine here because I can just crit through any of his boosts. So I'm gonna use probably energy ball instead. Actually, I still have plenty of surfs. He's gonna keep protecting, but again, I, I do think we win this battle without an issue. I tell you what, if I had a team of psychic type Pokemon or whatever, I might have lost to that uh, that Glalie because the only way I was able to beat it is because I had 100% crit. So you know what? I'll take it. We got really lucky there, and my decision to be lazy paid off in that scenario because I definitely think I lose Pokemon there otherwise. Respect to our authority. What what kind of authority you got there, Black Belt Bradley and your Bastiodon? Again, same thing, right? I mean that that's not a Pokemon that really, you know is a fighting type, so. Iron defense, yeah, but I mean, I have the very powerful earthquake here. This is four times super effective. Yeah, I was a little concerned he might metal burst me there, but we're good. And a Breloom, okay. Uh, That's a little sketch. He's gonna put something to sleep. He's gonna put multiple things to sleep. Uh, Breloom's actually a problem. I mean, Batwoman comes in, but if he's gonna put Batwoman to sleep, then I'm in trouble. So I actually think... But dude, if he bullet sees me, he's gonna do so much too. I think the play... Oh god, I don't know what you do here. I mean, the ultimate play is get Batwoman in. This thing is very annoying. I'm gonna go 07. He's gonna seed bomb. Okay, so I made the right choice. I'm gonna counter. He's gonna seed bomb again. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, okay. I was very nervous for a second, but we're good. And he still has a Lucario, so actually I shouldn't have I shouldn't have been confident because we're not done with this yet. Um, I think I can actually Hyper Potion 07 and just choose whatever side he attacks. He's gonna revive something as well. I'm gonna counter, assume he's physical, he's gonna actually be special. And he's, le he's leftovers, or life orb rather. I'll, I'll mirror coat this. And we should be good against Lucario. We know he's life orb. And who's coming back? Bastiodon's coming back. Now, I would rather take on Bastiodon than the Breloom, so this is A-OK. -okay. His Iron Head is gonna do nothing to me, and I can just Earthquake and finish him off. Okay. Whew! A little sketchy, but we made it through. We made it through. And I will say, uh, the rocks only appear if you do things in a certain way, it seems. I have to go the other way anyway. I gotta go back and heal, so it's fine. Oh man, a Machoke just jumped down and attacked me! Random Machoke. I don't know what that was. I'll just fly. He might have Stone Edge though. Submission. Can I catch this? I have him a champ anyway. 
Are we at the gym leader yet? Oh god, Lucario just jumped down and attacked me. What are we doing right now? What is U-turn? Um, I think the play here is definitely 07. Heal pulse. I'm gonna presume this one's special. It's gonna heal pulse. Calm all oh boy. Okay. Um, what do I do here? I can't keep letting him set up calm mines. I gotta go storm. Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. We're going to flamethrower. He's got work up too. Oh boy. He hasn't shown me an attack yet though. I'm very nervous. If he has, oh, I gotta burn, I gotta burn. If he has Aura Sphere, I'm in trouble though. I think I just stay in and flamethrower. Okay, he didn't attack. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was, dude. I'll take it. Which way do I go? Where's the gym leader? A switch, press it. Oh gosh. You get to see it for like one second, and if you mess up, it takes you back to the beginning. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, it's not as bad. It's not that bad. Okay, I think I made it to the gym leader. <laughs> I think I made it to the gym leader. So let me make sure everyone's healed up and like appropriate here, and we should be good to go. Okay, so here's what I did. I gave the sky plate to Batwoman. I've got Razor Claw, obviously, on tank. Rocky Helmet on 07. I feel like that's really clutch. Uh, we've got Juggernaut with the Choppleberry to reduce the power of fighting type moves. So it takes even better fighting type hits. We've got Darwin with the Eevee Light, which I don't even know how I use this in the battle. I'm going to be honest, but baby doll eyes maybe. And then we've got Storm with the Magnet. And uh, I'm very scared. So let's see what happens. A switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? Ah, I have the mind and body of a statue. I was mentioned by the ways of the Ancient Ones. Are you persistent enough to break me? Hiya! All right. Another gym leader. I'm very nervous. He looks like Bruno. He's got four Pokemon. He's gonna kick it off with an Electivire, which isn't even... Is it even the right type? As we expected. So I guess, I guess I'm the genius. I want a U-turn. There's no way he's Scarf, right? He's Scarf. I lived! Well, that's a situation. If only I had just switched, I would have been much better off, but I do get rid of his Electivire, so there's that. Metacham. Oh, how lovely. Um, how much you want to bet this thing's Mega? I mean, I could take one fighting type move, right? I think the play is always 07 here. He is Mega. It is Mega Metacham. Hopefully, he just goes for, like, Fake Out. He does Fake Out. Okay, I took that pretty well. I'm going to counter. Oh, seven is the best Pokemon ever. And a Scrafty. Okay. Hmm. You presume the dark type attack is coming here. So. The thing is, I mean, Darwin comes in on a dark type move pretty well. And can baby doll eyes to potentially take a fighting type move? Seems a bit risky, but I think it's the play. He crunches. He gets a defense drop, which means that I have to switch now. Um, I really need to heal up 07, I think is the play, but how do I heal up 07 when my team is like where it's at right now? You know what I can do? He might have high jump kick. I'm gonna protect. Drain punch, okay. So, I need to get Batwoman in. I think is the play here. I need to heal someone up. That defense drop's kind of big, so I think the play, I could go 07 to take a Drain Punch. I think it lives it. I go back into Darwin, and then I go for the um, the Baby Doll Eyes. It's a bit risky. But the Rocky Helmet's going to activate, and then he's Leftovers. And then now I'm going to go back into Darwin on the Crunch and hope I don't get defense dropped. I don't. Okay, so now I can Baby Doll Eyes. And that's gonna make this crafty a little easier to deal with because even Drain Punch, it's not gonna knock me out. He crits me there and it really wasn't that much. So that's fine. Now I think the play is we go into Storm and try to heal up Batwoman. 
Yeah, that's, that's actually not bad damage. So this gives me a, a kind of a window of opportunity to heal up 07 and Batwoman. So I think the play is healing up... I think the play is healing up 07 first. No, let's heal up Batwoman first. He's gonna crunch. He gets a defense drop. So that tells me I probably should switch. I feel that Batwoman is okay in this scenario. Like, I feel like Batwoman beats Scrafty fine. He gets another defense drop. He's kind of just hacks me out with defense drops right now, I'm gonna be honest. I'll go back to Storm. He ice punches, so we know he has that now. I can take one. So I have to use my second potion of the battle. I think it's gotta be on 07, because I think 07 is our key to winning this game. Here's the crunch again. He gets another defense drop. Let's go Batwoman. On the crunch, we can take one. Okay, now I'm gonna poison Fang and we're gonna poison him. Big. Here comes the ice punch. Okay, I have one potion left. So it's like, what do you do in this scenario when you have one potion left? You go tank on the ice punch. And he takes it really well. And now tank just goes for surf. I'm faster? Doesn't really do much. And he's got shed skin, okay. So then the real play is we focus energy. He's gonna drain punch, gives him some health back. But now our surf should do a lot and we're faster so I can get two off. Yes, perfect. He does crit me, but I do knock him out with surf here. So I think he only has one left. Conkledur. Okay. I mean, the play is 07 going for counter here and we win. One has to presume that 07 can live multiple hits. Thunder Punch. That did a lot. I have to actually Hyper Potion here, and then I have to hope that I can live two and counter. Which we can. We 100% can. Counter. Let's go, baby! Rocky Helmet, counter 07, making it happen, and I didn't even have to change the team up. Pretty proud of that, actually. Not too shabby. We are in the fist badge, baby, and that is a big W for us. We're gonna get TM08 bulk up, and we do beat Ares and his fighting type gym, but it took a little bit of mental gymnastics to make it work, and it took the very powerful 07, who I've been loving, honestly. I feel like it's so big brain. Um, I'm really stoked. I actually did stop to try to train some Pokemon up, and I did it for like five minutes. I was like, you know what, let's YOLO, because they, they, they don't always just have that one type, and it worked out, because I wouldn't have brought Juggernaut probably otherwise, and we would have had a hard time against Selectivire. So, despite almost losing Batwoman on turn one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Daybreak. Hit that like button if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you're in the US, have a wonderful Labor Day weekend, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Pokemon Daybreak, baby. Peace.